Hi friends, welcome to the Blueprint Nursing YouTube channel. My name is Abby and today we'll be reviewing the topic of angioedema. We'll start by reviewing the topic, then we'll lock all of that information in by working through an NCLEX next generation style practice question together. Let's get started. Starting from the beginning, what even is angioedema? It's a condition characterized by swelling under the skin. This swelling is typically seen around the eyes and lips but it can also affect the throat, hands, feet, and genitals. There are two types of angioedema, allergic and non-allergic. Allergic angioedema is exactly what it sounds like. It's triggered by an allergic reaction. This is usually caused by a reaction to food, such as nuts or shellfish, medications, think penicillin or aspirin, insect bites, or latex. Allergic angioedema is typically seen alongside other allergic symptoms, such as itching, hives, or difficulty breathing. Non-allergic angioedema is caused by stress, hormonal changes such as pregnancy, autoimmune disorders, or genetic factors such as hereditary angioedema. Now that we know what angioedema is, let's take a look at how these clients may present to us when we're working on the floor as a nurse. The symptoms of angioedema include sudden and severe swelling, typically around the eyes and lips. The affected area may be warm, red, and painful. The client may also have difficulty breathing or swallowing if swelling occurs in the throat. Let's talk about risk factors that can increase the likelihood of developing angioedema. Think about what causes angioedema, and those are the majority of your risk factors. So clients with allergies, clients taking medications that can cause non-allergic angioedema as a side effect, stress, a previous episode, and a family history. Let's move on and review how angioedema is diagnosed and treated. Angioedema is typically diagnosed with a combination of a physical assessment, review of medical history, and occasionally diagnostic testing. Treatment varies depending on the underlying cause and severity of symptoms. This can include over-the-counter antihistamines or corticosteroids for mild cases, or epinephrine injections or corticosteroids given through an IV for severe cases or cases with an airway obstruction. Individuals with hereditary angioedema may require certain medications known as C1 esterase inhibitors to prevent and manage attacks. Management of angioedema includes identifying and avoiding triggers, as well as carrying emergency medication in case of severe reactions. All right, now that we've covered angioedema, let's work through a practice question. This practice question is a bow tie question, which is a next generation style question you will see on your exam. Let's review the nurse's note, then we'll take a look at the assessment tab to see what's found there. The nurse's note reads, a 15 year old male client was brought to urgent care by a friend, reporting a sudden onset of swelling that began approximately 30 minutes prior to arriving at urgent care. The swelling began around the lips and has since spread to the entire face. The client denies any throat tightness, difficulty swallowing, or difficulty breathing. The client also denies any other allergy-related symptoms such as itching or hives. The client reports no changes in diet, medications, or exposures to new potential allergens. There is no history of angioedema, allergies, or significant medical history. Now let's look at the assessment tab. The client is alert and oriented times four and appears anxious. Significant swelling is noted on the face involving the lips and cheeks. No evidence of hives or a rash is noted. The swollen area is warm and red. No difficulty breathing, audible wheezing, or strider is noted. Lung sounds are clear in all lobes. Cardiac and neurological assessments are within normal limits. Okay, now onto the bow tie part of this question. You can see we have green boxes with matching green actions to take on the left, blue boxes with matching parameters to monitor on the right, and light blue potential conditions in the middle. When taking your NCLEX exam, you'll have a screen similar to this one where you'll be able to select answer choices from these columns and drag the corresponding answers into place. So with that, take a second to pause this video, decide which answer choices you'd fill in the blank boxes with, and when you're ready, press play and we'll review together. Ready? All right. 
Let's begin with what condition do you think this client is most likely experiencing? Angioedema, great work. You saw that severe facial swelling specifically around the lips and knew it was angioedema. Cellulitis, anaphylaxis, and contact dermatitis can involve swelling around the face, but do not match the other symptoms our client is presenting with. Let's move on to actions to take. When thinking about this client, the highest priority actions to take are administer antihistamines for symptom relief and ensure emergency equipment is available. The antihistamine will aid in symptom relief and emergency equipment should be available with the risk of the condition worsening. Administering oxygen via nasal cannula and preparing for intubation are not indicated at this time. While providing education is a great intervention for any client, it is not the priority intervention. Last category, parameters to monitor. The most important parameters to monitor would be respiratory status and vital signs. Lab values and skin integrity are not pertinent to this client at this time. Great work. These are our references. As always, thank you so much for reviewing this topic with me. Remember to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all of our content review videos. Also check out Blueprint Nursing's self-paced crash course and live study group options. See you next time.